All right, as you can see, I got this new wireless mic. I'm gonna try it out for a bit in this video, just because my other mic makes my camera such a big rig. And this one I can like step out of frame. You can still hear me in case you wanted to. As you guys know from my last video, I was just in New York and the actual reason I was in New York is because I'm getting back surgery. So I know back surgery sounds super scary, but I'm actually getting an extremely minimally invasive procedure. And the reason is I've dealt with this bad shooting pain down my leg and back for almost two years now. And so I finally got an MRI recently and I have a herniated disc, which I've spoke about before. And I'm not gonna explain it to you, but Dr. Qureshi can explain it to you, who's my surgeon who I saw in New York. Let's start this will a lot better this than picture me. first. So this is looking at you from the side. Imagine this is your back, this is your abdomen. These kind of grayer box looking structures are your vertebrae. Spaces that look like they're separating each box are the discs or the cushions. And then your nerves are running right in this big white stripe right here. If I start to the right side, which is kind of more normal, if I scroll off to the left side, however, and it's creating a narrowing that's happening where the nerves are running. And so what a microdiscectomy involves is we make a small opening about the size of a thumbnail and essentially this is a loose piece. So you could see like kind of, this is the rest of your disc right here. So we're just grabbing that, taking it off. The minute we do that, this space here, looks just like that one. And that's what allows for kind of starting of your, the nerve to feel better. So yeah, I've essentially had this pain for so long. I've tried so many different things, acupuncture, physio, massages, but nothing really seemed to work. And the reality is that if your disc pops out like that, sometimes isn't a big deal at all because your body can reabsorb that part of the disc within a couple months and you're just essentially back to normal. And if it doesn't absorb it, it will just stay there forever, constantly pushing and damaging the nerves. I want to get that portion of my disc removed so there's not permanent nerve damage and I don't have that shooting pain down my leg anymore. So I'm headed back to New York soon for a micro discectomy. So this will be my first surgery ever. I've never even been under any anesthesia. Only part I'm kind of paranoid about is that, but from what I know about surgery, if any of you have gotten any, you just like blink and wake up. But I know there's definitely some horror stories, so you don't have to scare me in the comments, but I need to feed Mochi. Food ASMR. This. It still works for sure. So Sid accidentally just washed my air tag. I'm gonna see if it still works. I got you that air tag, so I give it and I take it. All right, with that logic. <laughs> no, no. I put the old mic back on because it's definitely so much better. I guess situationally that one could be good, but I don't know. I don't really like it. Maybe I have settings wrong or something. I'm so excited to grocery shop and I feel like that's how you know I'm aging. I know I'm getting old too because I was refurnishing my office and I'm like looking up chair reviews, desk reviews, what's happening to me. Episode two, my last video you saw, we got ready for no reason. Wearing full costumes, drove to the place and realized it wasn't Comic Con. I forgot my license, so Sid's driving me. Nice to be chauffeured. I always laugh at how close Sid is to the wheel. She's so stressed. I'm not stressed. So I know at a lot of these things, there's furries. If you guys don't know what furries are, I don't really know it either. So I'm kind of asking. So I always see videos of them, but I don't actually know like what a furry is. Disappoint. No. Oh. Oh. Yes. Oh, what'd 
Yoshi, look at that. Big win. Big I don't know what applause for you, even. So I just bought one of these. We're gonna open it when we get home. Super duper vintage mystery box. Success. Crazy how busy it was. I didn't buy one cutesy thing. Well, you won something, but we gave it away to a little kid. A slab. I think it sucks. It's not even like hollow or anything. Blackbird sourdough bread. Got some lemon. A little bit of feta. Finishing touch by me. <laughs> The reason why some time has passed since I first talked about the surgery because it actually got delayed, but now I am going for the surgery. I'm headed to New York with Sid. I feel like I'm going to New York every vlog lately. Our flight is boarding in around 20 minutes, and um, excuse me, sir. You said my son. <laughs> So if you've watched my videos for a while, you know we love a sushi spot that was called Juku, and he actually has a new place now. It's called Tokugawa. We're gonna go hit up his new spot, check it out. So I did for sushi? Very much so. Cantonese, Ose. Mandarin, Hanhatsu. Japanese, Oishi. It's like a tuna family, but it's like a white tuna. Isn't it like body yellow toe? What? You know? Come on! So I know more about sushi than you. Oh my god, son! Congratulations! <laughs> you really wow! I'm very impressed. Wow! Holy shit! How did my you think god. that was tuna? It was, what, it was you white. You know, it, it tastes like that texture of tuna. Is that fattiness? Oh my god! Now you really make me doubting myself with my experience now. <laughs> you guys check out his new spot. If you ever go to NYC, it always takes great care of us, great sushi. You see you tomorrow. Traveling with your girl, you gotta do at least a 30 minute cushion between when she says Literally, she's ready and you... I'm gonna break your camera right now. You're so toxic. <laughs> oh my God, I just wanna go. I wanna go to Brandy Mellow. Guys, if I blink twice in my next clip, I need help. So today we are going for a crow, what's it called? Crookie. But there's an NYC puncher on the loose. So happy that I spent time with you and Sid. Today, one of those kind of like generation gap of learning about social media and social. Well, it doesn't matter, people get it. So I learned a huge platform about uh, to understand how the world works. And I love you both and thank you for explaining. So there's this, I saw this one girl. Yeah. And she was filming on TikTok and she it was crying. Mm -hmm. And she had this big lump on her head. Yeah. And she was talking about uh, this guy that just randomly punched her in the street for yeah. no reason. Yeah. You know what I call these people? Fucking cowards. Uh, why why pick a girl? No, before you do it. Why? <laughs> no, I mean, you know, why why pick the weakest person? And happy I got birthday. Such a... So, you know, Sid and I always see someone super duper famous in New York. You see, not me. Well, I'm good at recognizing people. We just walked by Tobey Maguire, the Spider-Man goat. We saw Tobey Maguire like five minutes later. We walked by Saul Goodman from Birkin Bad. So it got this croissant cookie. How do they make this done? Oh, they just put the cookie in the bottom, just like the almond paste, but they use uh, the dough and put it on top of the, uh, the croissant. I should ask them to heat it up. I'm taking you to an amazing taco spot. Since so got our mob wife outfit on. Who's number one? We are number one. Number one. Yeah, number <laughs> one. <laughs> That was my job when you were young, Jed. I used to take you out to try different things. Now, the other way around, you're gonna show me something. I'm dying to taste it. Mm. Mm. 
What did you think of the tacos? For, for to ask you. I really like it. I really like. You know what I really love about it is the pork is kind of chewy. Everything just wrap up. It's just perfectly. I love the tortilla because I like corn tortilla. Last hurrah. Yeah. Like 50 best restaurant in the world. Thanks for the invite, son. Our last uh, dinner before surgery tomorrow. So I was really fortunate to check reservations and La Berna then had a perfect time slot for three people, 8 p.m. So we're just Yippee. super lucky. Well, we're on the way to the hospital now. I'm not really nervous. I'm just kind of looking forward to getting this fixed. Stop. And I feel so high. I was laughing at everything. I'm starting to feel a little more come to in my ice pop. My back is really sore, but besides that, I kind of feel fine besides being high. And they said the success was surgery. I'm just sitting here now. I'm gonna post that on YouTube. Surgery is a success. I'm just in the bed waiting for Sid. Pretty sure I was embarrassing myself. So Jet just came back to the hotel from the hospital. We got him in the car with the wheelchair and now he's feeling still tired, still kind of high and kind of in pain. And his dad is getting him a pizza. He requested that Mochi be in her shark costume, not sure why.